Joust was released in the arcade in 1982 and ported to several consoles, including the Atari 2600 a year later. You play as a knight, mounted atop a buzzard in a gladiator pit type of deal where you battle other jousters. The objective is to make contact with your opponent as long as you're at a higher level than them, and they'll turn into an egg which floats around and you have to collect it or he'll respawn into a more difficult variation. This whole method of victory by collision is really cool in the fact that it's actually fair. In many games like this, you'll die from any kind of contact with the enemy, or maybe you'll be allowed to jump on top of them, but other than that, the benefit of the doubt always goes to the bad guys. Even if you collide at the same level, you'll just bounce off each other in a stalemate. When does that ever happen? As I mentioned earlier, if you don't collect the egg, you'll have to deal with more difficult jousters. There are three types. The easiest are the bounders, who are red. In the middle are the hunters, who are gray. And the hardest are the shadow lords, who are blue. The first couple levels are nothing but the red bounders, but these can graduate up in the hierarchy if you let them. And in later stages, they'll be there right off the bat. If you take one hit, you lose a life, and you can also die from the fire pits, which open up after the first stage. Another hazard is the pterodactyl, which appears out of fucking nowhere if enough time has elapsed in the current wave. Best yet, there's a two-player co-op mode, although the co-op part is a bit ambiguous because you get a shitload of points for unseating the other player, so watch your back. Controlling your jouster is as smooth as it should be. It is a bit tricky coming to a complete stop, but it gives you the feel that you're actually riding a live bird that's not going to go from 60 back down to zero immediately. Plus it adds to the challenge of having to keep yourself under control while trying to line yourself up with your enemy, as well as trying to dodge shit from other directions. Sometimes you get a little overzealous and find yourself bouncing off the ceilings and floors. It's all part of the learning curve. The scenery and landscapes aren't the most detailed in the world, just a black background with solid lines for platforms, and the lava is just red filled into the floor, but that's easily forgivable. As far as visuals go, the jousters and buzzards look really good, and the animation is well done too, although the pterodactyls look a little weird. There are only two variations, easy and hard, although the easy version is far too easy. Hard mode is the one worth playing unless this is the first time you've ever played in your life, or if you're four years old, or both. All in all, this is a terrific version of an arcade classic and should be a part of your Atari 2600 collection if you have one.